Hi, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people out tired of who they are and where they are in life. Today, I'm wearing our shirt from our virtual summit, Breakthrough Without Breaking You. So today's topic <clears throat> is going to be focused on She's So Crazy. And the reason why I'm going to discuss this today is that what came to mind the other day is how we, when we're dating or we're meeting somebody else, we come up with these terms that can be very painful. And and the reason I came up with this term, she's so crazy, is that when I was out there dating, is that we I used to use. So if I was dating a woman, I met a woman, and you know, the truth is I wasn't very clear up front what I was looking for. So I'm looking for a relationship, I'm ready to settle down. And obviously I was ready to settle down up until I found something better. Then when I found something better, then I quit that and go for something better, right? It's constantly this revolving door effort. And when things uh, didn't go the way she wanted to or the way she expected them to go, then obviously she's going to be very frustrated and upset and here comes anger, whatever situation you be. And I realized the other day, think about this, it's kind of having a moment of deja vu, is I had a person I was dating in my past and uh, she was going through a rough time with her family and I was didn't realize the fact I didn't communicate properly to my feelings, but well, more importantly, I was scared to communicate my feelings. So when things weren't going a certain way, when I felt smothered or I felt like I had need some space, I said I need some space, and I need a couple of times she just what it says, look, how can we in space? What's going on? She wanna communicate, I didn't want to communicate, and that what lies the problem is that most of us do not communicate our feelings. Most of us do not communicate who we really are. We create these these over uh achieving illusions and facades of who we think we want us to show up as, but in reality, we're not that person. So when I say these terms that she's crazy, it's because I'm really saying to myself is that I'm not ready to communicate my feelings. I'm not ready to communicate how I feel. So the point is, men or women, why do we come up with these terms? How come we can't be straight honest with a lot of people about who we are or how we feel at that moment or communicate? What boils down to this is that we're afraid of rejection. And we're afraid of rejecting who we are because the other person may not understand who we are. And we're afraid of communicating our feelings. If we communicate who we are, then us will reject us. And we're afraid. We're afraid of the outcome. So that's why we get these terms, she's so crazy. Because the reality is, I will say that because I didn't communicate my words. But why is this so important for us? Well, right now, dating is very hard for a lot of us out there, um, be we're dating through Zoom or we're alone, and we're not really kind of being who we are because you can't meet people face-to-face, -face, um, and obviously, the best thing we can do is through Zoom or whatever social media outlet we use, you use FaceTime or uh, Skype or you know, whatever. But how do we actually show up who we are? First thing is, it's not having limitations on the fact that someone else may judge us. That's one way of showing who we are. Another way of showing up is, is instead of judging them, asking the questions that are curious. Oh, why do you feel this way? Or why do you do things this way? Or, you know, where are you from? And what's your religion? Oh, those are just questions that become very empowering for the person. Now, if you want someone to be truthful to you, you thus have to be truthful to yourself. And you have to be truthful to things you really actually want and want to see. So instead of saying someone's so crazy, just say, hey, maybe they are not what I'm looking for. And that's okay. Or maybe he or she is not what I'm looking for. And that's okay. But those terms can be very hopeful. And it only hurt you in the end. Because you think back to the situation you've been through. And things you said behind someone's back. And at the end of the day... It was you that said them. And then the day it was you that caused this difficulty in relationship and lives. That brings us to another point. Why can't we just be honest? Why can't we just be truthful who we really are and what we really want? Why can't we just say it's not working out? That's what I was doing. I was holding on to things that weren't working out because I was afraid of being alone. What are you really afraid of? Why can't you be authentic? What's holding you really back? Have you hired a coach? Have you hired a therapist, psychologist? What's really happened to you? So that's why I shot this video today to, to apologize, not to just to myself first, but to everybody out there that I've come across. And I said, she's so crazy behind their back because I do apologize of, 
of where I was in my time in my life. I didn't know any better, and I just didn't know what to do. So I want to say thank you for any person out there that I dated, and I said, you're crazy, or I ghosted on you, or I did anything that kind of makes you feel like crap. That's the reality. So I apologize from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you forgive me. And let's be careful about things we say about each other and to other people because they can be very hurtful and they can create a lot of pain. But as usual, you can always find me on www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. This is where if you're tired of who you are and where you are in life and you want to transform your relationships, you transform your career, this is where I can help you. Another way to also find me is I have a podcast called Life's a Shuffle. You can find it under www.lifestyleshuffle.com. If you want to be a guest to share your story, follow our Facebook group at lifestyleshuffle.com and our Facebook group, Lifestyle Shuffle, because you yourself can share your story because everybody has been there somewhere, somewhere in the world. So when I say the same problems you face, share your story on our podcast. But again, thanks for listening.